viewers still continuing uh, with my vlogging uh, that I flew from Subhaiway State, uh, Juja, Kenya. It's still mo this is a mo early morning. I'm now vlogging in the Kenyatta Road, a place known as Jembu. And it's a, it's a funny estate because it is one lane and uh, estate constructed uh, on the left side of the est of its of the road and uh, it has got magnificent buildings as you can see them uh, one thing these people are happy there's no sign of uh, the floods that's devastated most part of Kenyatta Road here their place is still dusty How lucky they are. I don't know whether they are because they are high up or they are lucky, uh, but they have got magnificent buildings. And opposite them is a thicket. Uh, you can see thicket and a uh, free and developed uh, large mass because it's huge. It's a huge large mass opposite them. And I don't know why they have got. Uh, developed only one lane uh, uh, and as width of uh... <laughs> so my good friends there and I don't know why I don't know why this it has happened because one plot size one plot uh, lane Uh, see what we can call the wider fire few. Fire few had several uh, lanes. And uh, you can see the kind of building that people have constructed. They are magnificent buildings, magnificent uh, machinery. As we have I come across uh, any bungalow, they seem to be all type of modern buildings. And opposite them, opposite is a big, huge farm. I don't know whether who the owner is or the lucky owner. Or it's a public utility, I don't know. It's so huge. So the buildings are modern. Uh, this is not an old estate. It could be in existence uh, roughly 10, 10 years or so that when it was developed. Hence uh, the magnif magnificent and uh, modern buildings that we can uh, see here. So as I told you earlier, those people are coming later on, are coming up with wonderful styles and designs. Uh, and mostly, though it could not be true, they come and see what we have constructed, our styles and designs, and then they improve upon them. So they make us, our uh, houses look like a dinosaur, as if they were constructed the last century also. This is the kind of houses, huge houses. Uh, it's, uh, uh, only two plots I've seen and developed here, but others seem to be developed. These people are serious. People are very serious. They, they came and constructed. This place was sold and uh, was sold off very fast, and the people who bought uh, seem to have been very very serious. When they were in need of a settlement and uh, they got one. Oh, they have got magnificent buildings here. Magnificent buildings. You can see my friends inside there. Long 
time since I came this way. Time clothes were being sold. I didn't. I did not think people buy them because this, this was this was a huge uh, undeveloped area and catered for farm. I don't know who is the owner. And uh, it looks as if it will be very unsafe. A very, a very unsafe and insecure uh, place. But it is not so. People have developed. People have come and developed. People have uh, seriously developed this place. People have developed this place. Only another one here. Only gain another two or three plots. Not others are not developed yet, but majority have been developed. This is wonderful, wonderful development here. I don't know what this place is. Wonderful development here that has taken place. Beautiful buildings here. Beautiful buildings here. I've got beautiful buildings here. It's a huge building. It's a huge building. Two story building, and there is a church. Come along with me as I continue my. Uh, my viewers, I'm still uh, in the Kenyatta Road, just it's uh, more so. I showed you a series of uh, very few estates. Uh, there were very many. They were up to six. And uh, now I'm in one known as uh, Roa Fari Few. But, uh, and as you can see, it's, uh, it's a very modern, it's a very modern estate. A uh, very modern estate indeed. Which has come to be within the uh, the last uh, twelve years or so. Because when I came here, these plots were were not on sale. We started selling them uh, years later. It's a gated community. As you can see, it's a gated community. Those are estates and the modern houses, as we have seen elsewhere. This wall, well taken care of. They got straight lighting inside there. And they have got a hedge uh, of the Boganizavia. Uh, it's one of the modern estates here you have in Kenyatta Road. Very expensive area. And I'll show you most of it. It's very green as a result of uh, good rainfall above the normal rainfall. And here there are some building which were built long time ago. Uh, these, are, these are the buildings that were constructed uh, 15 or so years ago. Though the estate was, uh, was in existence uh, around the same time because uh, plots were being sold when we came here. They were selling them. Very reasonable price, but uh, it was slightly far away from the main road, 
so not not too many of us would like to have. I would have like to come and buy them here. However, by that time they constructed them, they thought they have a big business here, but it did not happen. And I don't know why this area has not developed because It was very much earlier than most of our uh, province estates now in Kenyatta. They have got the uh, same type of houses, uh, the marshonets, and uh, they are adorned with beautiful tarmac road, well drained. The people do not feel the uh, the heat of the floods because they are well drained. The area is well in drained. That's still raw very few. Time for buildings. We are putting them elsewhere. Uh, it's a place to be well taken care. Of. So they have got a lot of plantations. They have done their plants. Have been planted there. Most of them are uh, exotic. Uh, a few indigenous, but most of them are exotic. Uh, we have similar things here. On this side, uh, they have got exotic, decorative plants. On this side, too. Look at the exotic uh, flower trees planted here this area and uh, still the Rua Fari Few estates uh, bordering uh, with an estate here uh, an estate here known as Viewers have uh, entered in uh, this estate, part of Lower View. Lower Fari View estates. Uh, construction is still going on here. And you can see uh, there's still pre value, flat roof. So you can this one there. One uh, new style here, uh, and despite its challenges, people seem to prefer it. Especially this time, this time it was so wet. I don't know whether they experienced anything that will make them change their mind. It seems as if many parts here, many parcels have not been developed yet in this estate. And as you can see what grows here, these are indigenous trees that sprouts if the area is left unattended for a long time. And if uh, you want a good vegetation, those are the ones that should be allowed to grow here. But unfortunately, uh, when they grow tall and uh, it rains heavily as if you had done, they usually fall off and they can be a threat to houses and even to the human beings. As you can see the, how they have prepared their loan with exotic trees. Exotic tree as you can see being planted here. And a smaller gate here indicating that the the exit from upper side, not lower side. This is just to communicate, maybe to come to the friends here. There's a very quiet and serene estate, and it's got a wide road. The road is so wide, hey, so wide, it's a highway. Those are the kind of houses that you can see here. Uh, the lower far view, you can see the kind of building inside there. 
Chinese type of roofing as you can see there. Uh, you can see mash on it. Mention all type of building that you all the styles and designs you, you find them here. You find them here. You find a few. They have huge, huge plots and uh, seem to be several of them are not developed yet. So there's a chance of somebody coming here and acquiring property. You can see a, a bungalow there, a bungalow there. Machinates, Machinates, all the style building. And imagine this could be the first people to build after buying the plots. So they just built what was going or trading that time. As you can see, just besides. Beside you there is a flat roof, flat whole beautiful flat roof, all a box, design of a mash on it. This has come up there. And you come there. They are fortifying, fortifying their wall to enhance security. You can see the Lot of good fruits there. Pow pow and mangoes. Soon will be a lot of mangoes after this rainfall. Kind of building that they have here. They have here around. As you can see through there, uh, construction as you're going on, a uh, flat roof you can see from there, see, it's beautiful, beautiful estate and saline and quiet. And I don't think they have got a problem with the drainage because it's well inclined. It's well inclined. Oh, they had, a, maybe they had some problem with water because I can see the, the road was damaged and a trench here, meaning during the, that heavy rain, they had experienced some floods inside here. And hence they have, they, they, dug, they, they dug a trench, that trench, and that trench has come and across, has crossed the road. As you can see, as you can see the road, and this temporary bridge here to communicate to the side and you can see that it's gone going going to the river. So my viewers here and as I can see my paper light. Uh, can see here there is there's a plot that not developed here. I don't know if it's a road or a plot. Uh, going all the way to the river. This is lower very few. As you can see, kind of building that they have put up here. Flat roofed, flat roofed house there. As you can see, this wonderful place. Wonderful place, as you can see it. Estates, wonderful estates, beautiful houses, the grey color. You can think that house is heavy, is heavy, and they have got the taste. They have got good taste for color and design.
This one there, you can see it. As you see them there. Tanks for storing water, especially when uh, it's very dry weather. At times, also the tap runs dry. So, this type of the building that you'll find them here it's flat roofed, uh, mansion that is under construction. I cannot be able to show you inside because even in the gates they don't allow me to get in but I'll show you because the camera can reach far and wide see the kind of uh, style that they have constructed here uh, box style beautiful house see the kind of style they have here The modern styles of uh, building here, of uh, roofing here, or mashing it. That's what people are, are preferring to. Uh, this is ordinary, ordinary roofing of a mashing it, uh, an area development compared to this one here and the upcoming one there. So you see my friends wherever you are people here are not yet uh, camera friendly don't know what, why they fear us showing you all these beautiful constructions but uh, they have got their, their freedom we respect their freedom so as I show you the kind of the kind of bungalows and the kind of machines we construct here we can see the ordinary, ordinary roofing. On a roofing, the triangular roofing, as you can see here, all of it uh, compared to the flat roof there, as we can see it. As you can see, uh, the road is very wide. I thank, I will say thank you to the owner who sold the, these plots. He considered the infra infrastructure like roads rather than money because uh, this is a huge uh, cost upon him when you give such a wide road. Uh, the normal roofing and styles and uh, these people are well well developed the house is, house is well finished and triangular styles as you can see them ah, I same, same, same same type of housing here uh, can see the lawns the lawns are planted with good flowers exotic flowers so you can see them, so they like nature, people here seem to like nature and that's, this is the way to go because uh, climatic change is a really danger to human beings and even to animals, to all living things, so you have to plant trees, trees in every space we get and this is a good example of people who are taking care of the environment. They are planting bananas, they are still plants. There's something they do because they take carbon dioxide that we breathe in and then make it to oxygen. That is improving our environment. I hope and I wish many people do so. Yeah, it's a bungalow here. Beside this magnificent building, there's a bungalow. Uh, people construct whatever they wish or what they can afford to. And the banana is giving fruits. 
the fruits bearing bananas, so you can see it. And uh, they seem to be mangoes, which have been planted here. And that's the house, as you can see, surrounded by beautiful plants, exotic plants. Still here, you can see another bungalow, uh, older type, uh, constructed uh, many years earlier than others. See a bungalow here, but a modern, a modern one. The owner has a taste of color. I have plants here. And a sense of security. We can see the estate from here. So the estate itself, and you can see the kind of building is similar to what we have seen. This place seems to be very beautiful, and they are they are lucky they cannot they will do not experience floods because they are on an incline towards the river. Though they could have been affected by the river if the rain continued, it could have raised the level to where they are. But this time they were not affected at all. Still on the house under construction maybe people are living in and developed property there uh, plants like a uh, bottle brush here they're doing very very well they are big huge trees and the machinette uh, still under construction Auto brush have grown that much tall. And we have seen uh, they have planted inside the compound the mango trees, mango plants. That is, uh, as we can see, part of uh, Lower Fari, part of Lower Fari, are uh, coats, as can be seen here, they are beautiful. Uh, beautifully done and it's a it's a controlled estate created community and as you can see there are compounds are uh, well covered by plants my view as you can see this is a raw fire view from the from the river side and you can see that estate is beautiful estate. Uh, they are still constructing but uh, it seems as if those who are near the river will have to live twice because uh, the flood was touched their houses and in the future it could be devastating if they don't take care of it. So that is what it is, my friends. A lot of our review. And uh, as you have seen, these are an executive. Estates Celine with a water with a river for frontage. It has got all what it takes to be a super estate.
those threatened ah. by floods. Threatened by floods. It's a super estate, but threatened by the floods because the water is surging, is surging towards their houses. Unless, unless something is done, it will be a disaster. It will be a disaster. Again, uh, this is a very busy place, my friends, because there are hundreds of thousands of people across, across this as it did. As you can see, this house, this house ha is at risk because it's just at the end, to the edge of the level of water reached. And as we can see there, there's still more development happening here. I hope people will take care to the level of water where, where they reached. They avoid the houses being washed away by water. As we have witnessed, it happened in Kenya. Thank you very much. New subscribers will come home. Thank you, my viewers. Wherever you are, I wish you good evening, good night, good afternoon, and if God bless you and bless you, my children. Thank you so 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 much for following me. I'm proud of you all, my my friends, my followers. My viewers, you are wonderful people. You are wonderful people. And God will never forget you at your point of need. Thank you so, so much.